Hey, welcome to Midas Letter Live. I'm here with Todd McMurray, who's the CEO of Segra International Corp. How are you doing today? Never better, and yourself? Good. Uh, so let's get right into it. What does Segra do? So Segra is an in vitro clonal micropropagation company, or, which is often referred to as tissue culture. And simplified, that's essentially the production of baby plants by the tens of millions. How, do you, how does it uh, become the tens of millions? How does that uh, work? Our technology is highly scalable. So essentially, you know, we build up a base plant, a base stock of plants, say for example, 100,000 plants. We can turn that into 400 to 700,000 plants in 30 days with our technology. What does that, what does that look, that's hard to imagine. So just if you could paint a picture what that actually looks like. Yeah, this, this is a technology from the ag industry, like virtually all of our blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, papayas, bananas, all come from tissue culture. Okay. So we're ba basically bringing agricultural technology into the, t into the cannabis space. Okay, and uh, speaking of the cannabis space, I can see that uh, very large clients, uh, Hexocorp, Supreme Cannabis, AgriFarm. So uh, how did that relationship, when did that, those relationships start and what, what do they kind of consist of? Yeah, uh, good question. So essentially what we've done is we're setting up mini labs in these facilities. Mm. The process for tissue culture, there's the initiation process that takes about six months. There's no shortcuts. That's where we essentially clean up all of the disease and intercellular bacteria from the plants. Mm -hmm. So the whole goal with this is prior to getting our license, we set up these mini labs in these facilities. Then we flip those uh, propagated plants into our facility and supply those. They become our anchor clients essentially. Okay. Okay, so uh, what were the initial discussions like with those uh, companies? Uh, well, f very interesting actually. For example, with Hexo, mm. Hexo had already done their homework prior to even meeting Segra. They had already determined that they would save money, they would reduce their risks by using tissue culture for them. So for them, it was a very easy sale. Yeah, that's uh, what they call a layup, I guess. And, and I think the, the, the key for why these companies have chosen Segre is our team. Mm -hmm. Beyond a doubt, like for example, Dr. Zabayad, our tissue culture specialist, uh, he mentored with Dr. Korzai, who's considered the father of tissue culture. He's, he's written five different books, 50 different papers. He's perfected the industrial scale of production of over 500 different plant species. And he's one of the few industrial scale kind of, uh, tissue culture specialists that's actually worked with cannabis. Wow. So the, I guess, uh, plant to plant, I, there's a, a learning curve or a way to kind of figure it out before you uh, can get the kind of system running. Is that right? Or? Uh, well, it's, it's actually, uh, it, it, there's four stages to tissue culture. There's the initiation, there's the multiplication, there's the rooting, and then there's the acclimatization. And our business model is stage three plants, which is a plant about this size that's just taken roots. Okay. And so literally when, we're, when we work with these plants, we can literally put 10,000 plants in a styrofoam cooler uh, and ship them all over the world for up to four days with no, no loss. Wow, okay, so uh, what, if it, what are your competitors? Or is there, what, what does that landscape look like in terms of competition? Well, yes, we do have competitors, and uh, what I would say there is we're the first cannabis tissue culture company to actually sign up large-scale Canadian licensed producers. Mm -hmm. And if you were to ask uh, our clients, they all did their homework based on the competitors, and at the end of the day, they chose Cypher. And it's, it's really about our team. Great. So, we, uh, okay, go ahead. Sorry. We have one pretty significant competitive advantage, and that is we have our own mo cannabis molecular biology lab. So we're doing what we call uh, strain fingerprinting. So if you're a cultivator, right, and we're working with your genetics, we fingerprint the genetics before they come in, and every order that goes out the door is fingerprinted to make sure those orders aren't getting mixed up. So okay. everything is true to type. Okay, and then uh, looking forward, because you got these uh, big clients here, uh, what's the goal for moving into 2019 and beyond? Uh, good question. So right now, we're retrofitting. We've purchased a farm. We're retrofitting a building. Um, our ultimate capacity uh, through phase three built out will be about 80 million plants per year. Wow. We expect to reach that by 2024. 
the, the first phase is retrofitting uh, about 4,000 square feet of space. Mm. We'll get that license. Concurrently, we're building out 15,000 square feet of space. And then for phase three, we're building out 50,000 square feet, which will give us the ultimate capacity for 80 million plants per year. 80 million plants per year. That sounds like a very big number to me. Um, we just talked briefly off camera about the fact that uh, um, Segra currently, as of right now, is a private company, but you have your eye on a public listing at some point in the near future. Yes, we've uh, filed a prospectus, preliminary prospectus, and we hope to be listed uh, via an RTO in uh, late October, early November. Great. Okay. Well, that's a great introduction, Todd, and uh, we'll follow the Segra story with interest and uh, hope to have you in after you become a public company. Well, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you.